New Rocket League mechanics are seemingly easy to make, but for them to actually have any use, that's a whole nother story. But this week, the community was shocked when one such mechanic surfaced on Twitter. So you're probably asking yourself these questions. Is this a new mechanic? Does it have any use? And can it be learned? Well, we're going to answer all these questions. First, starting with, is it actually new? Well, to find out whether it's new or not, we have to go back a bit. Our story begins in March 2016, when this clip surfaced on Reddit. This is footage of the first ever flip reset scored in Rocket League by a well-known player called Fishokit. Not long afterwards, he also attempted to do the exact same thing in game. And this is the earliest example I could find of something that relates to our new mechanic. As you can see, both mechanics use a flip reset to pop the ball towards the wall, which they then proceed to double. The main difference between the two, however, is that our new mechanic pops the ball faster than this early example. And its creator has actually proven this by showing the speed change after using this flick. And nothing like our new mechanic was seen up until late 2019 when this clip surfaced. Now you'll instantly notice that both these mechanics are extremely similar. In fact, they're one and the same. This clip at the time was referred to as a bonk, and while it caused some stir at the time, it never really caught on in the Rocket League community. Now, almost four years later, the exact same mechanic has resurfaced. But this is not the end of the story. In fact, since this date, there's been a series of mechanics which all utilize a similar technique to this mechanic. These include the Cabbage Muncher, or the Stall Reset Flick, as well as the Bismillah Flick, which which many will remember from Sunless Khan's video with Kevin. The common thread between all these mechanics is that they are all using either a stall or a flip to gain speed after a reset. But what if I told you this mechanic could still be new? Well, there's one thing that separates this mechanic from everything else, and it's to do with two very important factors that can also make a mechanic new. Let's start with the first one, which is how viable it is in game. Unlike some of the mechanics I've discussed already, the mechanic that surfaced this week has been performed in ranked games not once, but multiple times, as you can see in the clips playing right now. As well as this, this is seemingly a learnable mechanic with other players also being able to replicate the exact same mechanic in training, and this is important because this didn't occur when the original 2019 clip surfaced. At the time, no one was able to learn it, let alone use it in a game. And this comes to a very important point when it comes to new mechanics. A mechanic might not necessarily be new, but it can be used in a new way to its original mechanic. And you could argue this with the most recent set of clips. The second factor that goes into a mechanic being new is the popularity in which that mechanic has. Now, this can be a very confusing point, so I'm going to break it down very simply using two examples relating to this mechanic. As we've already discussed, the original clip of this mechanic surfaced in 2019. However, it never got recognized as a proper mechanic. But now, almost four years later, it's resurfaced, sparking a conversation about whether it's new or not. And this can be attributed to the popularity the creator has. Being a freestyler for Pulse Clan and also being able to share it on the likes of Twitter has helped this clip gain a lot of attention across the Rocket League community, allowing for the whole community to actually evaluate evaluate whether this is new or not, whereas with the original clip, it did not reach enough people for it to become what is called a community-recognized mechanic. Essentially a mechanic that the community recognized deserves a unique name for itself. While both these factors don't necessarily have to be fulfilled for a mechanic to be dubbed as new, these are important factors into whether something becomes new. And I will get to whether this is actually new or not, but first I want to discuss a vexed issue with any new mechanic, which is, if it's actually new, what should we name it. Obviously, we can acknowledge the original clip and call it a bonk, as well as naming it after the creator. So as an example, something like the Leo reset, but there are other options as well. Some people have rightfully pointed out that this is very similar to a Rocket League sideswipe mechanic called a purple shot. And some have suggested to call this a purple shot as well. But it's important to note that we don't necessarily have to name this mechanic. It could simply just be a store reset. But ultimately, it's up to you guys as to what you think this should be named. And let me know in the comments what you think. But now we're going to answer the million dollar question. Is this new or is it not? 
Well, as we've discussed, it's not an original mechanic, nor is it a variation of it, but it is being used in a new way, particularly in a competitive environment. It's also able to be learned by the community and has been popularized to a certain extent. So where does this place our new mechanic? Well, honestly, that's up to you. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you like this video and you want to see more content like it, feel free to like and subscribe, as well as checking out my new Discord server where you can hang out and have input on all my future content. This is Moldy Shoot. Thanks for watching.